Hey, hello guys and welcome in a new video. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use handlers. Before you can subscribe to my channel, do not miss the next video. If you want, you can find some documentation about handlers. To see it, uh, you can follow this link. So what does it do? What does a handler do? A handler allow use allow you sorry to create and use some triggers. In this video, we'll see it with a simple example, a short example. And in a first step, uh, we will install a simple uh, engine server. And we, in the second step, we'll see how to reload. Uh, reload uh, our engine server when we change uh, a configuration. So before, we need to have uh, some uh, virtual machine. And uh, you can uh, see uh, the video number 14 uh, with our script, our deploy.sh script, like uh, here. And I run this script with minus minus uh, create create sorry and i want to have uh, three uh, virtual uh, server i run with uh, three option and in this case uh, our script create uh, creates uh, three uh, containers like containers like uh, virtual machine with SSH and systemd. We have dot two, dot three, and dot four uh, server. And we run again our script with minus minus Ansible. And if I do it, when I run uh, a tree, I can see we have our uh, new directory, a Ansible directory with, uh, with our inventory file and a group vars and host vars uh, directories. So if we check in our Ansible directory, uh, our inventory, we can find uh, our three servers. Okay, so now uh, this is more uh, easy to use uh, Visual Code, Visual Studio Code. And uh, now I open, uh, I add my folder into it, to this folder, Ansible here, okay. So, where is my folder, no, uh, yes, this one I want, uh, don't save, okay. Okay, now we are ready. So, first of all, we need to install Nginx server. So we create uh, our first uh, playbook file named playbook.yml okay like here and now what we do i copy and i paste these lines and uh, in uh, our uh, header we uh, set our playbook with the name the host uh, parameter on all servers, on all target servers. We run our playbook with we come to yes, because we want to use uh, the sudo command, uh, because uh, we use apt, the apt module uh, to install some package with uh, nginx and curl. We set uh, one variable, uh, our nginx port uh, variable and we set this variable to 8888 okay uh, our uh, apt module in our apt module we set a cache valid time to one hour and uh, we set uh, we want to update our cache uh, apt cache okay this is our first task uh, now we can run it so to run it I use Ansible minus playbook minus i our inventory file and our playbook file. I run it and I can uh, now I can go into one 
of our server, like here, I can use SSH uh, 172.17.0.2, for example. I run a bash and I zoom. And now what uh, can I do? I can do sudo systemctl status and uh, nginx. Okay, now we have nginx, nginx sorry. But uh, our uh, web server is uh, not active. It is, uh, uh, our state is in inactive. And uh, we want uh, to start our, uh, our web server. So to do it, uh, we need to uh, sorry to open our Visual Studio Code and name, and uh, we create our task and uh, we start Nginx. We use service module, the service module, and uh, set the name of our service. In our case, this is Nginx, and the state of. Uh, this is the state uh, what uh, uh, that we uh, what we want. Uh, the state is started, so I save it. I run it again. This is more quickly because we have already uh, installed uh, Nginx and uh, Ansible just do uh, the start of Nginx server, okay? So if I check again, now I have an Nginx uh, with uh, active status, okay? And running status. Okay, so uh, now what we want to do, we want to change uh, the part of our uh, vhost. And uh, in Nginx configuration, we can find in slash etc Nginx and sit available uh, one file, the default file. And in this uh, file, we can find some uh, lines, uh, command lines. But we want only uh, uncommented uh, lines. So to check it, we can use uh, dash V and like here, I select all these lines. I copy it. I can create uh, a file here uh, in the same directory of our uh, playbook file. And I uh, name my file vhost.conf. I save this line. Here, okay. I save it, and I can now do another task. I can remove the default file, this one. I want to remove this file to create our specific specific sorry file. So I paste this line like here. So. I save it, I run it again. And in our case, we remove uh, two files. Uh, our first file, uh, this is uh, the file in uh, sit available directory and uh, the symbolic link uh, about this file in sit enabled uh, with default file, okay? So we uh, do it. Now we can use uh, our first template. In the last video, we see how to use uh, the template module. If you want, you can see this video number uh, 21, uh, 22, sorry. And uh, I paste it again. And what we do, we set our uh, template module with uh, our source of source file. So I copy the name and I rename uh, my uh, vhost conf uh, file, like here. I set, uh, so in our playbook file, we have set uh, engine port uh, variable. So I use it in our uh, template file, engine port here. Engine variable here and 
I copy it and I add it into our IPv6 uh, line. I save it again. And uh, in our playbook file, we want uh, to push uh, this template into uh, slash etc engines site available with a new file default underscore vhost.conf. Okay, uh, this is the best practice to set our extension uh, for the template file to a dot uh, g2 uh, extension. Okay. We set uh, our owner and our group to root and uh, the mod uh, to 0644. But now in engines, uh, when we change uh, the host, we need to do a reload of engines. This is uh, where uh, handler uh, take a very, very, uh, a very um, important. So, uh, we use this line to uh, trigger a handler. Uh, this is the notify parameter and we set the name of our task in the handler. Uh, in the handler. So we name it uh, reload engines. And after what we do, we want uh, to create the symbolic link before to reload our uh, service. So to do it, we use uh, the file module and uh, we want to create a symbolic link uh, with uh, our uh, site available default vhost conf into a site enabled uh, default vhost conf. Okay, so we use uh, the file module with a state to link for symbolic link, okay? And now we can, uh, we have already a start engines, okay? And now we want to set our handlers. So I copy these lines, I paste it. Be careful to indentation because handlers is under, this line is under uh, tasks, for example, or become. This is a first tabulation. So, what we do, we set one task with uh, a name. Uh, this name is reload engines, the same name of uh, our notify line uh, above uh, here in our template template module. Okay, and uh, this task uh, use systemd uh, the systemd module to uh, pass uh, the state of our engines uh, service to uh, reload it okay just we do a reload of this service i save it i run it again and now we can check with a, a simple curl, curl on uh, localhost on uh, one, uh, one two seven uh, two uh, dot zero dot zero dot one on quatre, uh, on uh, eighty, and uh, we have a connection refuse because uh, with Ansible we have changed uh, the we have changed the engine port in our uh, vhost configuration. So if we do uh, the same check with a curl on 888 port, we have our uh, our output. This is a default uh, page of engines server. So to test it again, we just set our uh, variable with a new uh, new number like uh, uh, 6666 like here I save it again I run it again and now what Ansible do you run uh, all tasks and change only uh, only uh, uh, two tasks first task uh, to change uh, our vhost file with the template and a second task because uh, we have trigger uh, our reload engines 
task and a second task uh, to reload our engine uh, service. Okay, so I can check it again. 888 connection refused and now 6666. We have our default page for engine's uh, server. Cool. So uh, if you want another things about handlers, you can uh, define where the the task, uh, the trigger task, uh, could be uh, played. So when we check here, uh, by default, on Cyber run uh, the handler task in the last task of our playbook. Okay, like here, but you can use uh, two lines, uh, these lines, but uh, these lines, exactly, meta with flush handlers to flush uh, the handlers, the handler, uh, where you want. For example, uh, you can uh, flush handlers just uh, after our uh, playbook change, okay, uh, like uh, here, for example. But uh, that uh, but that don't work because uh, we uh, just do uh, the symbolic link after our flash handlers and in our case it's a, a bad uh, solution. Okay, but in uh, in another uh, case you can use uh, this uh, flash handlers options and uh, you can uh, use uh, another in another example uh, the, the the handlers to reboot our server for example uh, for example you can start uh, with the stat uh, module uh, a file in a slash var run uh, reboot dot pending file and uh, you can register uh, this uh, uh, this file, this output of uh, stat module, and uh, do a change for this task, and check uh, the uh, dot stat dot exist uh, element key into uh, need reboot uh, variable, and do a change for this task, and when this task changed, you run our notify and in this case we run uh, this task uh, in the handler uh, in the handler the reboot server task okay so thank you for watching this video don't miss the next one and i say you goodbye